We'll just put it right out there at the start. Admiral Conan Antonio Motti was a real psychopath. Born into a wealthy and influential family, the rise of the Galactic Empire would lead Mahdi into a position with the Commission for the Preservation of the New Order, helping to maintain support for the galaxy's new Emperor Palpatine and ensure ideological consistency within the Empire. He would gain a reputation for ruthlessness and maintaining order through force, elements that helped him climb the ranks of the Empire quickly, becoming an Admiral by the time of Episode 4. Of course, Mahdi would also have no problem not just verbally sparring with Vader, but dreaming of striking him dead while the Sith Lord was still right in front of him. As Vader himself would conclude, Mahdi was a man of barely controlled anger, hatred, and envy. Vader was right on the mark, as Mahdi developed perhaps one of the most ambitious schemes of any Imperial officer within the Empire, to take command of the Death Star by force and use it to overthrow Emperor Palpatine, making him the most powerful man in the galaxy. Sure, many officers might have considered such a possibility with the battle station nearing completion, but Mahdi was a man who actually walked that path. Mahdi's ambitions are detailed within the Legends novel Death Star. Still a few years away from the superweapon becoming operational, Mahdi was on board his personal Star Destroyer, the Steel Talon, conducting necessary systems checks. But his mind was elsewhere. He wanted to return to the Death Star as quickly as possible, hating the fact that he had to spend time away from the battle station. Mahdi felt that he was the person really running the Death Star, despite the fact that Tarkin was the one in charge, and more importantly, he had more of an interest and personal investment in the completion of the Death Star than any other person in the Empire. For Mahdi understood that the person who controlled the battle station would be the most powerful individual in the galaxy, and Mahdi developed a conspiracy that would see him become that person. Time away from the Death Star only gave others an opportunity to beat him to the punch, fearing powerful Imperials such as General Tag or General Bast might also try to commandeer command of the Death Star for their own personal ends before him. But make no mistake, in the years preceding A New Hope, Mahdi was already plotting to steal the Death Star from the control of Emperor Palpatine. In fact, Mahdi had begun the process of enlisting Grand Moff Tarkin in his plot, trying to influence him into breaking loyalty with Palpatine and join him as the most powerful beings in the galaxy. This part of Mahdi's plan failed miserably. While the Admiral believed Tarkin wasn't just picking up on his hints towards rebellion, little did Mahdi know, Tarkin had already long considered the possibility of taking command of the Death Star for himself, knowing that not even the Emperor could then challenge him. Only Tarkin too had long rejected that notion, believing there was no way the Emperor would put someone else in charge of the battle station without some means of insurance against insubordination and rebellion. Tarkin was certain the Emperor had a failsafe ready for any Imperial officer with their own ambitions, and thus wasn't foolish or suicidal enough to try to steal the Death Star from the Empire and challenge Palpatine. Mahdi on the other hand did not have the same fear of the Emperor that Tarkin did. While he was well aware of the fact that both the Emperor and Vader were Force-sensitive and therefore capable of astonishing feats that he was once impressed by through the acts of the Jedi, with the Death Star at his command, he didn't see how even those capable of using the Force could stand against him. Further, even if there was the risk of some unforeseen failsafe, the risk was well worth the reward of controlling the ultimate power in the galaxy. Therefore, Mahdi had no issue proceeding with his coup where Tarkin had abandoned any similar ambition. In furtherance of his plot, Mahdi studied and understood all components and operations of the battle station better than anyone in the Empire, knowledge that would help him recruit the resources and personnel necessary for succeeding. Even more, Mahdi devoted much of his time to gaining the loyalty of senior officers stationed upon the Death Star. With his commitment, Mahdi was certain the time would come for him to unleash his conspiracy and that he would be successful. Given how much effort he already put in, you almost wish you could have seen Mahdi attempt to take control of the battle station once it went operational. However, of course, Admiral Mahdi would never get his chance to put his plan into action, with the Death Star being destroyed in the Battle of Yavin and Mahdi with it. But despite the risk, Mahdi was more than willing and had planned for years to steal the Death Star from the command of the Empire and use it to become Emperor of the Galaxy. So there we have it, Mahdi's plans for the Death Star had it survived Episode 4. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. 
or perhaps follow us on Twitter at SW Reading Club for updates regarding the channel, or support the channel through Patreon for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For Bold One Rank Confirmed.